Bonjour to everyone, welcome back to the Back by Channel TV and welcome back and Shira to where he belongs, outside St. James Park. Yes, yes, people, here's your Burnley preview. Now, look, this is going to be done by John Beresford. A good couple of minutes, anyway, with John Beresford. I'm going to keep reeling images. I've just checked out the Shira statue myself there. Absolutely quality. Unreal to see it back at St. James Park, where it belongs, right next to the legend himself, Sir Bobby Robson. I'm not sure how the audio is here, actually, it's a bit windy, so I'm going to make a move. I'm going to make a move. As I was saying, then, John Beresford, ex Newcastle United player. John Beresford, left back from the 90s, we all know about him. He's going to be on in a minute. He's going to have a nice little chat about the end of season party that we told you about a month or so ago. End of season party for those who aren't going to Turf Moor. There's only 2,500 that could, sold out. Get yourselves to Central Park. Yeah, next to Centre of Life. There's going to be a big event on there. I'm not sure if the match is going to be on because I'm not sure if it's on Sky Sports yet. But either way, it's going to be a party atmosphere. There's going to be plenty of drinks. Good crack going on. Keith Downey, Steve Howie, John Beresford, me, Keg. Loads of other people are going to be there. It's going to be a good crack. It's going to be a great day out celebrating the end of the season celebrating the new era going into the summer but just before we get into John Burris we're going to talk about Burnley now Burnley are hoping that they're going to be celebrating come Sunday because it all rests on them staying up in the division Burnley playing for Premier League survival the Newcastle quite comfortable now as we know I've been for a while Newcastle playing for top 10 aiming for a top 10 place now who on earth would have thought that just a few months ago it's absolutely mental but we can't get top 10 with a win and I think if West Ham beat Brighton and Something else, one or two permutations we can't get top 10. Would be on 49 points if we did that, which would be our best points tally in the Premier League season for about 9 or 10 years. Again, incredible turnaround. And why Eddie Howe should be manager of the season. He won't be, will he? He'll go whoever wins the Premier League. But uh, it'll be a tough game on Sunday. Like I'm expecting a very cagey, rough game. To be honest, I watched Burnley last night. I waited for Leather, got a 1-1 draw. Went one and up at half-time due to a penalty. They weren't great, like, it was scrappy. It was Burnley. It was exactly what I expected from watching Burnley. Awful. <laughs> you know what I mean? Uh, less of the hate, Burnley. I'm just, I'm just taking the piss, even though, you know, not a fan of Chief, man. Absolutely shit and all. But uh, yeah, for me, I'd rather lead still. Not gonna lie, I'd rather lead still. Burnley go down. I would have been, been hilarious if Everton went down. That was the number one choice. But Everton now safe after their comeback last night. 3 2 win over Crystal Palace at home. Um, so yeah, it's gonna be Burnley leads to go down. It's in our hands, it's in Burnley's hands. If they win, they're safe. And then even if they don't, I think they're at the bottom three at the minute, aren't they? Leeds have got to go to Brentford and get a result. I kind of see that, to be honest. I think Leeds are down now. I kind of see them getting something to Brentford. Brentford have been on unreal form. Christian Eriksen, Thomas Frank doing bits the last few months. But Newcastle, if we go there and we play like we did here on Monday night against Arsenal, we're going to absolutely batter them. It'll be 4 or 5 not easy. But I think, you know, a lot of the lads now, will they be chilled out, away from home? Last game of the season, only a couple of training sessions left. This is Friday afternoon as I'm speaking. So, Eddie Howe was brilliant in his press conferences as always this morning, saying, you know, we're not taking our foot off the gas. We're going for top 10. We're going to give it our all, and the players are fighting for it still. So, that's good. That's what you want to hear. Some injury doubts is that Chris Wood is looking unlikely to face his former side. He's trained the last couple of days, but him, having Manquillo, Fabian Shaw, uh, we know Willick and Shelby are already out. So, could see a couple of different players slotting in against Bailey, but uh, I'm looking forward to it. Really looking forward to the event on Sunday at Central Park. You know, have a have a good laugh, have a few beers, enjoy the game, enjoy the season ending off, and really looking forward to the summer now. But it will be a tough game. It'll be a close game. Bailey will make life hard. Bailey have got everything to play for. Literally the future is you know fighting for Premier League survival. They've got it all to play for there. The place will be hostile at Turf Moor. Could be toxic, a bit tense as well though. So. Be an interesting one, it'll be a tough one. Our record of Burnley, I think we won last year, lost, won, lost. It's a bit hit and miss, it's up and down. Um, for me, last game of the season, we've got good record though, and we do well. Last Premier League home game of the season, last Premier League game of the season at all, sorry. Still thinking of money, I'm still buzzing about it. That win over Arsenal. Uh, I'm gonna go for a draw, to be honest with you. I think because it'll be that cagey, that scrappy, Burnley will make life that difficult. We may just be a little bit chilled out. Yeah, 1-1. One, one. But if Newcastle turn up the way they did against the Gunners the night, the Clarets are getting a battering. It'll be a massive wasp. It'll be getting it'll be four or five nil. No, it will be. But we'll see. There's my prediction then. Let's hear what John Berrisman's got to say. How he predicts it. A couple of picks as well. He's picked through his player of the season and stuff like that, and he's looking forward to the future. Uh, John Berrisford here. Um to all you tune fans out there, what a season. Uh well, 
what an end of season i mean up to christmas we were rubbish um yeah finally got rid of steve bruce who was uh let's just say it wasn't working um eddie Howe comes in pff, couldn't have done a better job unbelievable and the new signings have just been uh phenomenal um I, I would say wood's probably the only one who you could put a bit of question mark about but do you know what he played his part um so yeah uh, absolutely brilliant so can't wait for next season because we're going to move on to bigger and better things and what i mean by that bigger and better players so we're uh yeah can't wait one game to go though burnley um gonna be working it uh with steve howie uh we'll be giving our so-called expertise but i just fancy us big time they're in absolute dire straits uh, you know, they've got, I mean, don't get me wrong, they, they were going to give it everything to stay in the, in the Premier League, but we should go there with all the confidence in the world, and if we play like anything like we did against Arsenal, we should cruise it. Um, so, somebody asked me, says, what's my, you know, player of the season? Do you know what? It's a tough one. Um, because at the beginning of the season, we didn't really have one. Um, but do you know what? I'm going to go John Joe Shelby, because he's been there right from the start. And uh, when he needed to be counted on, he did. And I think once they give him the captain say, I think he, uh, yeah, I think he took he, he took his uh, game onto another level. Um, so, uh, but looking again ahead, who are we going to sign? I mean, we're going we're going to be going for the big boys. But I'm going to throw a curveball in here. Do you know what I think we should sign? It's going to going to shock you, but I think Dan Burns has been brilliant. You know what? I think Harry Maguire. Yeah, that's a partnership you can think about. Because I think if you get two proper centre halves like them, uh, and I think he he needs a break from Man U. He's been getting slaughtered. But you know when I when I've seen him for England, he's a proper player. So anyhow, just my little words of wisdom. But it's all about two, 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 black and white army. Have a fantastic time. I look forward to seeing you soon. All the best, Bez. There we go. And there's John Beresford. If you want to meet John Beresford, listen to him. Having a great chat on Sunday. Get on down to Central Park. The links to the tickets will be in the description below. Come along. See the boys. Enjoy yourselves. Drop your score predictions in the comments below. Subscribe to my channel TV. See you in the next one.